jokes. You have hey, a you personality. Guys. I've got some miso and some, some jokes. And a big old slug of grape juice. Did mine look nice yesterday? Uh, I guess I wasn't paying that much attention to it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make it. Damn you, girls. <laughs> have the whole week to do personal work so I'm gonna focus on two illustrations that I want to finish and also I'm trying to fill out the sketchbook so I've been doing some sketches from street photos especially from Alex Webb who has super interesting compositions and usually like a lot of elements going together and that's something I want to incorporate more into my own illustrations I like sketchbooks to just be a place to explore more than to make something that's perfect or that you're going to show someone. So I'm going to do that and then I'm working from home the whole week but it's it's really nice outside and I live in a neighborhood that's really famous and popular for little cafes and stores and stuff so yesterday I already went to one of my favorite cafes in the neighborhood called Small Coffee that's in between Mangwon and Hapjong stations. But I figured because it's a nice week and it's nice weather, I will go and treat myself every day to a coffee from a different coffee shop and spend a little time working out of the house. Also, I massively <laughs> messed up my hand today while climbing. Um, we've been climbing for the last six months or so, almost, maybe maybe four months, like consistently. They did shut down a little a little bit because of Corona, but yeah, illustrator with messed up hands. Today we're gonna head to Bangsan Market, which is in Urjuro Saga. It's kind of in the center of the city, and this market is super useful because they have tons of paper. They have hanji, which is like traditional Korean paper, 
and they also have like packaging and other kind of art supply stuff, sewing stuff. So I'm gonna head there. I'm gonna run some errands, grab some supplies for um, workshop tomorrow. Let's head to the market. I think it will be a lovely sunny day to be walking around. I'll grab a coffee from the neighborhood and like keep on this roll of a, a new place every day. Let's head up. Welcome to our office. It is a bit of a mess right now. Yeah, I have a couple of prints, some of my prints, another one of my prints, Rizzo printer, another big printer. I got my paper from Papermore. Um, they had cotton paper from Strathmore and Arches, so hopefully, if I put them in this guy, he'll shoot out some nice crispy gicle prints, but we'll have to wait for Chris to get home because I don't want to break the printer, so yeah. Got my paper, got our printer. So I think we're going to call it a day. I got to a good place with the illustration. I'm feeling less frustrated with it right now. I don't know, I think there's always like a crux where things feel really difficult and you feel like there are these problems you need to solve, but then once you solve it, it's kind of like doing a puzzle and then you can keep going and it turns out better than you thought. So yeah, I'm in a good place with that right now. It's been so nice and I think I just want to be outside as much as possible so we're gonna go for a nice little walk or hike or something in the morning tomorrow. Maybe see some of the mountains around Seoul. Seoul is a city surrounded by mountains so if you're a hiker it's pretty great unless it's winter or like the dead of summer. But anyway, um, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>
it's Friday. Yeah, I felt a lot better after last night getting through some thought work and kind of addressing some anxiety because I think when you share more with people and especially as like a creative career person or an artist, the more you share about the process of things and like the imperfections of things, the scarier it can feel because worries about being judged or about like failing. But ways that I've kind of changed my thinking about it have been, first of all, just we put so much emphasis on the possible failure, but we don't really put any emphasis on the possible success or the positive outcomes of things. So that's one thing to acknowledge. And the second thing is that failure doesn't have to be this catastrophic bad thing. Something bad doesn't have to happen just because you fail at something. And I think that I used to worry that if I failed at this thing, then I'm just going to stop doing it. I'm going to be a flake and I just am not going to ever succeed at it, which is really dramatic. But I think that's a normal thought process for a lot of people. I get to decide if I give up or not, not any external circumstances, right? But today is pretty busy. We have a workshop. I have more illustrating to do for those illustrations that are due on Tuesday and then yeah I think I'm gonna go for a walk this morning <laughs>